Vincent Jallo here. Welcome back. Uh, today I've got a little treat for you guys. Um, not so much, as you guys know, I'm a huge slasher guy. Uh, I love, you know, 80s slashers and that kind of stuff. But I do enjoy the kind of cult, kind of kooky stuff as well. Uh, you know, I, I do focus mostly on slashers when I, you know, I'm watching some of this retro stuff. But uh, today I've got a couple for you that I think uh, should not be missed. These are also good if you're if you've got people who want to watch a, you know, a movie, but not something that's truly horrific and scary, but more of like comedy kind of horror kind of thing, just plain weirdness. Uh, I think we got you covered. Also, if you guys have a penchant for Frosty the Snowman, the original cartoon, as well as um, long like one minute shots of guys bare asses, stay tuned. So first off, we're gonna take a quick peek at. Microwave Massacre, and this of course is the uh, midnight video release. Just take a look at that artwork there. It's awesome. I mean, these tapes, guys. You, you go to the video store back in the day. You know, you're walking down the you know the aisles looking at stuff like this on the shelf. I mean, those days are gone, but geez, not forgotten though. I mean, that, that's just it's amazing. And uh, you know, if we take a look at the back here, take a look at some of that. It's incredible. It's good stuff. So this is Midnight Video's uh, Microwave Massacre. And this one here, uh, basically I'll get to the uh, Frost the Snowman analogy or what have you. Um, Jackie Vernon is the guy that plays the character in this. Now if you guys remember the old Frosty the Snowman cartoon, um, you know, the way he sounded and the way he talked. He's like, oh Karen, let's go up to the North Pole and I want to get my magic hat. Now I can't believe we're going up there. You know, and that kind of stuff. Well, this character, he's the main guy in the movie, Jackie Vernon. And so I couldn't help but laugh the whole movie. I mean, because all I could see was Frosty the Snowman wandering around on screen doing these outrageous, crazy killings and everything. It's, it's insane. Uh, but basically, yeah, he's this guy. He works on a construction site and he wanders around eating these, like, oversized sandwiches with crap. Like, it's crazy. And, um, you know, he's got his two little sidekicks there that he works with as well. And they're always having lunch breaks. And, watching chicks walk by and stuff and so he's you know he's getting a little bit uh you know at home he's kind of getting a little bit of flack from the wife and stuff and so one day he just finally kind of loses it and decides to, to kill her and uh chop her up and put her into the uh freezer so from there on he uh, starts experimenting he's like oh i'm hungry i'm hungry one night i'm gonna go you know so he grabs one of these hacks off one of her arms grabs grabs a piece of one, like her hand or arm or something like that Eats it, thinks she, he likes it. And there's kind of a cannibalism uh, vibe to this as well, obviously. And um, so he starts eating that, and uh, starts bringing these, you know, pieces to work in his sandwiches, and the other guys start enjoying it, and blah blah blah. It kind of evolves from there. So then, of course, he runs out of his wife, and he's got to start, you know, he becomes this cannibal kind of guy. He's got to start, uh, you know, finding other sources for his uh, for his meat. So uh, that's kind of where this goes, and he's got the world's largest microwave oven. It seems like in in his uh, house here too, which is crazy, but I mean it's just it's pure schlock. You know, there's some gore in it, great gore, but cheesy gore. Like uh, you know, I probably could have done a better job on the gore myself, but uh, it's definitely worth a watch. It's so much fun, and you know, if again, if you know, if, before you watch this, you might want to watch the original Frosty the Snowman cartoon if you're not familiar with it, or if you've forgotten what it's like, then pop this in. It just makes it even that much more hilarious. So, anyway, guys, I would recommend that one for sure. Microwave Massacre, of course, if you can find the midnight video release like this, you're set. But I believe Arrow put this out as well on Blu-ray. I don't have Blu-ray. Uh, I don't know if I like it that much, but it's hilarious, so I'm happy with the tape. Second one going in is uh, Nail Gun Massacre. Now, this is the Frightmare video release of this uh, from 2012, the Texas Frightmare weekend uh kind of convention that they had. There's the cover of this one. It's great artwork there too, if you guys can see that. Right? There it is. And this one here, again, is pretty ridiculous. I remember the first time I saw this, I was so pumped. I thought this is going to be like crazy, like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but like a nail gun massacre. Things are going to just go wild and ballistic. Um, not so, not really the case. Uh, basically, I'll just read you the back here, guys. A beautiful young girl is beautifully, ga brutally, 
A beautiful young girl is brutally gang raped by construction workers in a small Texas town. Suddenly, mutilated bodies begin turning up. Nailed up. Nailed to trees. Nailed to the pavement. Nailed to each other. And that is true. We'll get into that. The nail gun maniac is deadly and no one knows who he'll hammer down next. It's a piercing, no holds barred, no holds barred trip into industrial strength horror. That's an exaggeration. Um, yeah, 90 minute feature. It's time to leave the toolbox in the shed. Yeah, I mean, this movie here is hilarious too. Uh, one of the greats. Uh, so you've got this person wandering around with a nail gun out in the forest, um, wears a motorcycle helmet, and is shooting people with a nail gun, as the title would suggest. Um, so yeah, what's happening in this one? That's pretty much sums it up. The crazy thing about this one, though, is this guy delivers crazy lines like, you just pissed me off. Kind of like this Robocop kind of voice he's got going on. And he's delivering these one-liners like the Terminator. It's like after every kill. Now, of course, the kills, you know, you see a person going like this and like the, the nails already stuck in their hand or whatever. It's the, you don't ever see any piercing going on. It's just kind of already embedded when the camera comes in. But uh, yeah, basically the, the, the thing that sticks out of my mind, sadly, for this movie is there's this one scene, this guy is he's completely naked, he's having sex with his girlfriend against the tree, completely butt naked, he's grinding up on her, and all we see is this, now you guys have seen the Maniac, I've seen, Ma uh, not Maniac, uh, Madman, the uh, 80s slasher, now, that's a pretty good slasher, uh, a little underrated. Uh, now in that one there you see there's a shot of like this guy in a hot tub with his girlfriend again She's in the hot tub. He's kind of in front of her on top of her whatever in the hot tub and always sees this guy's bare ass I don't know what the deal is with that. Well, this is even worse We've got this long shot coming in of the whole tree and this guy Grinding on this woman bare ass bare ass bare ass bare ass right up tight onto this and then finally thank god this the the nail gun massacre guy comes in and actually kills them both um sticks them both to the tree and they kind of end up falling on the ground so not only is that bad this guy falls down after his girlfriend falls behind him and all he sees is this guy in front of the camera with his like 70s like pubes like full-on 70s bush kind of for a guy whatever you want to call it uh laying there and his junk's all splayed out in front of the camera. I don't understand it. I don't know what's going on there with the ass and the junk. I mean, you know, there's some reasonably attractive women in this movie. Do we see them naked? No. Um, so I don't know what that was. But uh, I've never forgotten it. Uh, and it's hilarious. So, again, that's the nail gun massacre in a nutshell. Oh, and when he does his kills, by the way, too, all you see is uh, as he's walking off, you hear these crazy, like, the score is kind of tied in with him laughing, and there's this weird kind of like, kind of you know it's weird it's crazy so i would check this out as well guys don't leave the toolbox in the shed any longer <laughs> pick this one up nail gun massacre i believe this one's on blu-ray as well and uh those are the two reviews for today guys so if you guys like these please like thumbs up and subscribe and there you go microwave massacre Nailgun Massacre. This is my little massacre video review, and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care now.